right, the judges have just given me the names of our five finalists, and the first one is Miss England. As the second finalist, we have Miss Finland. Number three on the list is Miss Israel. Number four, Miss USA. And the last place among our finalists goes to Miss Venezuela. And there, ladies and gentlemen, are our five finalists. for our judges to have one last opportunity to see the girls, I'm going to ask each of them to step down here and chat with me briefly, beginning with you. Miss England, will you step right down here, please? And just tell me, will you please, what do you believe is the biggest difference between the United States and England? Oh, I don't think there is a lot of difference. i tell you what is the biggest difference. It's the weather. <laughs> Always the weather. <laughs> In whose favor? In yours. <laughs> Thank you, Miss England. Thank you. Miss Finland, can you just step right down here? Let's imagine that I am going to visit Finland. What would you like for me to see and why? Oh, I, I want that you see our midsummer uh, sun and uh, our thousand lakes. Yes. <laughs> and beautiful women. Ah, yes. Thank you, Miss Finland. Miss Israel? When you get home, what are you going to tell your friends about the pageant? I'll go, I'm going to tell them it was a wonderful thing, very exciting, and a great experience for all my life. Thank you, Miss Israel. Miss USA. <laughs> now, if you could take any present home from the pageant to Alabama, what would you take? Money is no problem. Myself. <laughs> <laughs> you just get home safely yourself. Yes. All right. Thank you, Miss USA. And Miss Venezuela. Now, everyone has some sort of idea of the United States before they visit our country. What sort of idea did you have? About the United States? Yes. Um, well, I think it's one of the most important nations in the world. And that's enough to, for people to have a curiosity for visiting this. United States. Very good. Thank you, Miss Venezuela. And there are our five finalists. Judges, the decision now rests in your hands. Well, I had four out of five in that time. I'm, uh, see? <laughs> but now comes the really tough decision of which one of these girls will be Miss Universe of 1967. Either Miss England, Miss Finland, Miss Israel, Miss USA or Miss Venezuela. Now the way to do your voting is to pick the fourth runner-up, the third runner-up, the second runner-up, then narrow your vote to two girls and between those two girls choose which one you think should be the winner. And then the other girl is automatically the first runner-up. That sounds complicated but it's complicated for the judges too. <laughs> And as soon as the new Miss Universe is crowned, there'll be processions and parades. Although I'll bet none as unusual as this one. <laughs> <laughs>